Hey there, Virgo. Uh, welcome to your reading for the week of April 17th. Uh, this week, definitely check out astrodryer.com for more awesome readers and astrologers. But let's see what we have coming up for you. Uh, very different from everybody else, which is interesting. Uh, everybody has kind of had similar messages this week. Uh, yeah, yours looks good. Um, definitely, I mean, maybe some past challenges coming up, but let's see. Uh, you have the three of clubs coming up, card of second chances. I think you, Virgo, you're like the only sign that gets this um, card, I think it's you. Um, that gets this uh, quite frequently. So a lot of second chances coming in. I do feel like maybe some of you aren't looking at something, aren't, uh, you know, I think maybe some of you are like waiting for an opportunity, but the opportunity is actually there. You're just not seeing it. So maybe the you, the universe is just giving you like chance after chance after chance to notice something. So try to pay attention this week to definitely any of your goals, any, any of the things that you want um, this week, uh, you know, whether it's a uh, career, you know, advancement or uh, relationship advancement, actually very good love energy. Everybody has had very good love energy this week. Um, here's some really good cards for love for sure. But um, definitely try to keep your eyes peeled kind of this week and, and looking out um, around you at things that are going on. Also an amazing card for communication. I think that with this card you could definitely be getting your communications across much stronger, much better at this time. Next, you have the Seven of Spades. Uh, a lot of people have had this card this week. This is the only card that you have that's similar. Um, so uh, let go of your fears and worries at this time. I think uh, Mars is kind of playing a key role in the week and, and pretty much everybody's sign. Um, e even, you know, just under, uh, for some people, just like sextiling their sign or whatever. Um, so I think that Mars is kind of maybe making us question things or bringing up fears for certain people. Also, Neptune. Uh, you know, Neptune's opposite your sign right now, bringing up these uh, fears uh, that you can't even see. They're not even, like, real. So just be careful of that and, and try not to kind of dwell on those things. Uh, Ten of Spades coming up next. Uh, card of Transformation, and Transformation's happening for you at this time. Very good card of changes and uh, moving past difficulties. Uh, normally I say this card represents disappointments like now, like experiencing a disappointment right now, but I actually feel like this is more in the past um, for you and, and thinking about things, probably mostly thinking about disappointments around things that you wanted. Um, I do think that there is a general, a general energy of people, in, um, like wanting, uh, wanting things to work out in a certain way. Watch Gemini, because I literally said in the Gemini video that, um, you know, it's like Virgo and Gemini are the two signs that keep getting this message that, um, you know, needing to let go of outcomes, maybe needing to let go of like how things work out for you, because I think that for both of, of you, your signs, Gemini and Virgo, um, you know, which Virgo is the only one that matters for you, unless you have Gemini in your chart somewhere prominently, then it's going to affect you more. Um, but needing to let go of outcomes, again, I think is very important message for both of your signs at this time, um, because things are probably just not going to work out how you want them to work out, which is fine, because you're still going to get what you want, but um, again, sometimes we have this tendency, all, everybody does this, but um, we have this tendency to hold on to like how things work out, like we feel like we have to take a very certain specific path to, you know, whether it's a relationship or a business or whatever, like we feel like we have to have things like in a very rigid way, work out a certain way. So there's a card of like letting go of that and just letting things happen. Uh, next we have the Three of Diamonds. Three of Diamonds is a card of needing to double check all paperwork. Again, with the retrogrades going on right now, double check all paperwork, especially if you're involved in anything legal or if you're doing your taxes, double check all paperwork. Next, you have the Nine of Hearts card of wishes, card of getting something you wish for, getting something you want. Um, very good card. And uh, very good for love as well, especially if you're single. Could represent new love coming in. Although probably not. Um, prob maybe just meeting somebody but not really starting a relationship. Kind of just, you know, being at the beginning of those things. Uh, next, you have the Six of Hearts turnaround type energy. I, I do feel like that a good majority of you will be letting go of outcomes. Kind of are like moving on to a... Um, you know, letting things work out in a different way, which I think will be very beneficial for you at this time. This is an amazing card of moving forward, finally being able to move forward. I feel like, again, I feel like this is another card that Virgo gets all the time. Um, also, interestingly, again, Pisces gets this card all the time, too. Um, also, a uh, great card for, let's see, what else do we have here, down here? Yeah, great card for friends this week in, um, you know, socializing, and, you know, 2017, amazing year for socializing and, and kind of rebuilding a social life. I think when we get into 2018, once uh, Saturn moves into Capricorn, it'll be even better. Um, Saturn and Capricorn, I guess, doesn't necessarily really have to do with friends, 
but it kind of does to me. I mean, I, I look at Capricorn as a, um, a sign of friends and friendships and relationships. Uh, and I think mostly because Capricorn in particular can have challenges with friends. So it can represent those challenges, but I actually think things are going to get easier. And we're going to be able to build new social circles in the near future that will become very important to us. So uh, definitely do that. And finally, you have the Four of Hearts, card of moving, thinking about moving, uh, or you know, planning a move. Also a card of commitment. A lot of you, let's see here. Yeah, a lot of you, yeah, a lot of you who are in relationships, I would say, could potentially be uh, making some sort of commitment. But again, it might not work out how you want it to. So just be careful of that, especially when it comes to timing. Timing, I would say that a lot of you could be experiencing challenges with timing and that maybe that's where this, you know, things not working out how you want them to is, you know, kind of going on. Ten of spades represents Saturn. Saturn represents time. So I think that, you know, maybe you're in a relationship, you want to get married, maybe, maybe your partner doesn't. And, you know, what you need to know is that it'll probably happen, but just maybe not, you know, today maybe in the future. Uh, so things look really good. Uh, thank you for watching and enjoy your week.